Hey, what's up, guys? This is another tutorial. Tutorial. Sorry about that. From SoundDesignStudio.net. I'm Jason, your host for today. Uh, but make sure you do something before, before. Let me bring down the volume a little bit. Before um, we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button um so we can keep bringing you uh videos um and also if you don't know anything about sound design uh studio.net um we are a full production house uh, i'm in the warehouse right now uh we provide sound lighting video um backline everything for concerts and everything all over the u.s so i just wanted to get that out of the way before i start on this t tutorial but if you're here today, then you also you already know what I'm going to talk about. Uh, today we're on the Behringer uh, wing. Um, it's, um, of course, the, the new console that's out by Behringer. Um, I've been seeing some things I, I definitely like about it. It just came out and uh, well got delivered um, in a couple of places um, here recently. So uh, I wanted to get some videos out for some people that might need some help learning some things or maybe on a show or something and um, and can't figure out some things or something like that. So uh here we go. So this is how this is a tutorial on how to set up your digital snake and X32 with the wing. So the digital snake will be on stage. The X32 will be your monitor console and your wing will be at front house. That's the setup that we're going with right now. So uh, the way we have uh, the snakes routed, um, well, the Cat5 running, we're running from the digital snake um, uh, into um, the port uh, A on the X32, and then out of the port B into the port A on the wing, uh, Behringer wing. So, of course, if you're at a, a venue, uh, you're going to jump into your snake with your um, XLRs or whatever from the stage, run your Cat5 to your monitor console, and then run a Cat5 from your monitor console to front house to the wing, um, which is uh, the way you would do even if you had two X32s. Um, so that's just for, I mean, this setup is for people that, only have one wing so far and you know maybe haven't uh you know don't have enough money to get two wings yet um and i'm pretty sure you know a lot of people are going to do that and two they can get two wings so they can access all of the channels that they'll be able to access with two wings so um uh here we go all right so the first thing let's jump over to the X32 screen. And sorry guys, the, the, the focus gets a little soft on the X32, but uh, you'll kind of be able to see where I am uh, on the X32. So uh, just kind of bear with me a little bit. Um, so the first thing you wanna do, um, some of the stuff I already have well, a lot of stuff I already have connected. So I already told you how I have the Cat5 ran and and all that kind of stuff. And the reason that um, it's already showing connection on everything is because I I have to have the connection because I you know my mic is running through everything. So uh, right now, what you, what the first thing you want to do is go into your settings tab over here on the right hand side of course you can't see it on the screen but go over here to your settings uh, I hate that that you can't see it 
Let me try to switch this to. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, to your setup tab, which is on the right hand side uh, of your screen. Hit your setup tab. And then you're going to go down on the X32. Since this is going to be your monitor console, you're going to switch. Well, you should already have the clock source on this one to be internal. If it's not, turn it to internal to make sure that this one is the clock source. So when you connect from your digital snake, you should see it. Uh, and like I said, I went into A on this snake. So that's why the top left is showing green um, on my little area up here. So the top left is showing green and it's showing the connection for the S16s because uh, we have two of them connected to each other. Um, so it makes 32 channels right there. But so th that's going to be um, internal. Then what you want to hop out and do go to your your routing on your B your B side on your outputs you want to switch channels 1 through 8 you want to go if you're coming out um, like I said you want to go off into well from your digital snake into your uh, into your uh, a port uh, into your X32 out of your B port into the wing. But what are you going to do from the B output section right here? You're going to switch one through eight. You're going to switch that one to A one through eight. Then you're going to switch um, the B section to AES eight A one through I mean nine through sixteen in the B section you're gonna switch um you know so on and so on so the next section would be uh ASA uh seventeen through twenty four and whatever whatever from there. So that's what you're gonna do on your X thirty two to make sure that your outputs are routed over to your wing console all right so now if you're at your home page on your wing this is where you would be uh then what you would want to do the way that i would get to it i would go right here below my home button and click there it's right right above gate right now but you can rearrange this section by the way but uh, I will click on that uh, click right here where my source is so right now my source is already set to um, a because um, I am coming into my a port that's the only cable that's that's coming into the console at the time so it has to be a so I click on that this brings up my source Originally, it was local one, but right now, what I want to switch it to is AESA because my channel one, I want it to be channel one for, um, well, I'll, I'll, of course, I'll select my channel one on the console and and you can see up here uh on the screen uh I don't have a the other camera on the actual console so so you can see up here on the screen that I've selected channel one this is channel two channel one is selected so I'll choose uh a port for that then if I want to go to uh channel two I would choose the next port and I would route it like that. So if you can see, I keep selecting 
the next channel to use the next AES port so that all of my all of my channels would be my AES ports at that point. Um, um, and it, it may be a faster way to um, route all of them uh, that I don't know about, like just saying, hey, fill in all or something like that. Um, and if it is, you guys can let me know in the comments. But as of right now, that's how I know how to do it. And but that is how you would get. Um, that's how you would get your signal from your S16 snake to your monitor board if it was X32 and then to your front house wing console and you would be up and running. So if you get a wing and you're like, hey, I won't be able to use it yet because I only have X32s and I don't know how to sync them up. This is the video. And like, make sure you update your software, um, your firmware in the X32 because it's not going to talk um, talk to it. Well, it's not going to talk to it at all if you don't update the firmware uh, in the X32. So make sure you do that. Make sure you update the firmware in X32 and make sure you update the firmware in, uh, in your, your um, digital snakes because that won't sync. Uh, see each other because we did try it with uh, a S16 that wasn't updated and that didn't work. So that being said, this is the conclusion of this video. So hopefully you guys got something out of this. And if, um, if you have any uh, constructive criticism or you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you would like to see any other videos or anything like that, let me know and I'll do some videos on it. Um, please, guys, make sure you subscribe, sounddesignstudio.net. See you on the next video. Thanks.